my goodness! Yeah! Yeah! Holy yeah! sh! Well, morning, folks. I am in Iola, Wisconsin. I think that's how it's pronounced. Seems like I heard a guy on the radio on the way here pronounce it almost like Iowa. But anyway, I left my house at like 8.30 last night and drove all night to get here. It is almost 6 o'clock now. Uh, I kind of took my time because I had plenty of time. Um, made it just fine. Didn't, nobody came with me. Just me and the Ford F and Ranger here and a uh, big bag of beef jerky and some uh, Metalocalypse CDs. Yeah, I'm uh, here really, let's see, really mostly for the swap meet. Well, it's all for the swap meet, but uh, if I have some time left over, I'll go check out the car show. Uh, I've been told and heard that this swap meet is just huge and you can't get through it in one day. So I'm, I'm prepared to stay for two days. So, yeah, if the second day goes well, where I finish up the swap meet, I'll go cover the car show, too. But, obviously, if you're going to watch this video, you're going to be uh, held hostage to uh, looking at what I'm interested in. It's actually sprinkling right now, but I think that's supposed to blow through here pretty quick. I'm being illuminated. I've never driven this far for a swap meet before. Uh, 440 miles one way. Uh, didn't have any trouble on the trip. Little Ranger did great. The only problem I had was at one point I decided I wanted to top off my phone and the charger wouldn't work. So I had to dig into the uh, dash a little. Problem averted for now. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain's starting to pick up. I looked at the weather and it's showing it's supposed to rain for about an hour. So I might just take a nap. It's in the, let's see, it's about 65 degrees out there right now, so I kind of wish I'd have brought more clothes. It's kind of cool out there. Uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> well, it's 6.30 now. The rain seems to have stopped for the moment, and I've doubled up on shirts, which is about all I can do. Let's go walk around, see what I can find. Lots of stuff. Well, most everything's still covered up, but we're going to look around anyway. Here. Some sort of an ATV chassis, it looks like. Got it all lifted up, put a straight axle in it, but no differential. That, that seems like a smoking deal. Maybe not. What do I know about this stuff? Never have I ever seen something like this at a swap meet before. Cool conversation piece, if nothing else. Can you show everybody what you just bought? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys uh, run over a chainsaw last night? Where'd me? 58. 
I have seen several of these so far and I've hardly gotten started. I've never seen this before to swap meet. So far they're all over the place though. Never seen DeLorean parts at a swap meet either. Sweet T birds. Kind of an interesting setup. Looks like somebody built them a gasser front end and cobbled a rack and pinion on the front of it. Or the back of it or something. And I do mean cobbled. Look at those welds. I feel bad about my welds because my vision's going bad, but they're definitely better than these. I do not know what's going on with this thing. Is this like an early version of the green machine? When I was a kid, I had one of the green machines that had the <clears throat> the rear end that steered, which this appears to be the same thing, but mine had a, like a, a floating beam in the back that steered. No, it's a weird one. Another one. Nice, but a little out of my price range. Yeah, I would think if there's somebody out there that was wanting some factory originals, those would be the hot ticket. Okay, so it's a little after 9.30. It's been raining on and off since I've been walking around out there. A lot of stuff still covered up, so a lot of stuff I'm not getting to see. Although, here not too long ago, the rain finally let off and the sky lightened up a little bit, so hopefully the rain is done. Uh, I felt like I had to walk back to the truck and get rid of the stuff I was carrying. Not that it was 
getting too awfully heavy, but I wasn't too far away from the truck and it was kind of gouging into my back and that backpack. Let me show you what I got so far. Got some belts for the passenger side of the Bronco. He had them marked 35 and they're brand new, near as I can tell. They still got the plastic on them. I felt like I lowballed him at 20 and he said yes, so score. Got this auto meter coolant temperature gauge for the 76 Bronco. I uh, got it for 10, so hoping I can find one to match it for the oil pressure. And then I really needed these exhaust clamps for the 76 Bronco as well. And they are 2 inch, they're made in Germany. But uh, yeah, I got the pair for 5 bucks. Then I noticed that they're different lengths, but yeah, it doesn't matter, they should still work. This guy had a whole bunch of these, I guess you'd call them a heat lamp, but uh, 5 bucks a piece. I use these in my shop for trouble lights, and mine were getting pretty beat up, so I scored two of them. Here's a map of the whole swap meet area. I came in somewhere in this area. I'm pretty sure I've covered at least this much. Maybe this whole area here. But uh, I'm unpacked now. I'm going to go in for more. Electric assisted wagon. Not a perfect match, but close. <laughs> what are you asking for the emblem? The Excuse me? 40. I don't know what I'd put it on, but I sure like it. Diamond T. Sweet. Well, I didn't get a funnel cake 4th of July, but I'm sure as hell getting one today. Distributor tuning. Neat. Yeah, I got a four door one. Hey, Bronco parts. You never know when they come your way, do you? <laughs> first one I've ever seen. Uh, I think it might be the first one I've seen. Hmm. It goes on water, you can take it right on the, on the lake, go fishing. Not really to my taste, but interesting nonetheless. When was the last time you seen one of these cougars? Now there's two of them here. But then there's like a roll of 15. That's real copper, 
Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. I'd have to think so for that price. <laughs> It's not here. There's actually an ad posted for another aircraft engine. Oh, it makes it work. And you can spend thousands with nothing and no motor. It says you can spend thousands and don't even have a motor, but this is off the plate. Lots of shiny here. Ooh. Big old lugs. Overdrive unit. Might be over and under. I made a greener, greener colored one too. And I didn't know like that this. at the time because I was just a kid. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even drink. Those are like oh, later yeah. 73s. Yeah, 73s. Yep, 73s. That's kind of what I was looking for for the 76 Bronco. Yeah, it's a 1200. Looks to be a V4. And shaft drive. The cord inside. Rock em, sock em, roll box. <laughs> Nash, if I'm not mistaken, let's find out. Fine, 1950 Nash Super 600. There you go, you got Kurt's number if you're interested. the first Ford Lightning of the new. Thank you. 
Assume for hauling logs or lumber so the frame can pivot. Sort of foreign car. That Michelin man looks kind of creepy. What is this? It looks like a three wheeler that's been made into a two wheeler, would be my guess. That's what I was thinking by the front forks. <laughs> I had one years ago I bought at a swap meet. Someone done the same thing to it, but they kept the big wide tires on it. <laughs> I've been fantasizing about building one for a long time. Just stumbled across that one. <laughs> Please don't feel flooded. 
That's homemade or a factory deal. I didn't know such a thing existed. I'm gonna guess it's homemade. If I'm seeing that right, it says 9Z. There's a faint marking of a C, so that's a 69 Mustang. Some douchebag broke mine last summer. Broke one of the tabs right there, and I JB welded it together. So, I believe it's going home with me. Do Ted on that? Yeah. Set my crap down so I can pay you. <laughs> Nineteen sixty, sixty one. Two door wagon. I don't know, they're still making two door wagons by then. Oh, right there. Nineteen sixty. Yeah, I'm stumbling around because I'm getting tired. Whip it. This looks festive. Straight six. Damn, look at that big red. Okay, you've been there. <laughs> well, shit, couldn't get away with anything. No, holy. There's a swing arm set up, kind of like a Volkswagen. Any idea what it's off of? Um, I'm unsure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 
Hey, do you know what this is on? Yeah, I don't want to pass it. Okay. There's another one. It's bizarre, I tell you. Dana 60, I believe. The size of that hub, anyway. Yeah, it's on a. Uh, Eighties, nineties frame looks like. <laughs> Crazy. I thought about doing this with my van a couple of times. Leave enough bed just to get the gooseneck hitch in it. Power fire. That's just a knockoff of an MSD. Damn, another one. So I've got an MSD distributor at home that needs a cap, and I'm wondering if that'll work on it. it looks like it's got the right type of fasteners, but... <laughs> Probably has, I would say, total, total 20 minutes run time. It'd be painted bumpers too. <laughs> 280, 70, 20 inch rim. It's probably about a 36 inch tall tire. Even a little T-top Mustang too. T-top tastic. Okay, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock. I made it through the swap meet in one day. It wasn't easy though. Uh, my phone actually lost all its charge. I had to go back to the truck, charge it for a while, and while it was charging I went ahead and uh, went around and gathered up a few things that I'd bought and had to go back for and then went and checked on a few other things while I got a little charge. But uh, anyway, um, I decided I'm going to stay for the night and get you some footage of the car show and the car corral tomorrow. Uh, I made quite the haul today. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Uh, let me turn the phone around here and I'll show you what all I got.
All right, I already showed you the belts, the lights. I got these uh, early Bronco rear fender flares for 10 bucks. I got another 66 that I'd kind of like to do something with someday, so those will look pretty good for that. I think I showed you the exhaust clamps already. Um, I've got these, uh, what do you call these, binders, straps. A uh, guy gave me a couple of free binders this last winter. Oh man, got this uh, floor shifter for a Ford. I got it in two pieces. I think all together I got 20 or 30 bucks in it. And I'm going to try to use that in the 76 Bronco. So I want to get away from the column shift. I'll get into that and there's reasons why when I'm back on the Bronco video again. Also for the 76 Bronco, got an oil pressure gauge to go along with the water temperature. They don't match perfectly, but they're the same size. I got the shifter boot I'm going to use for the transfer case. We paid like a buck for that. Um, five bucks for the uh, oil pressure gauge. Let's see what else, what else, what else. Well, there's plenty here. Um, I'll just keep moving. I got this fuel level gauge because I have a uh, fuel cell that actually has a sending unit in it, so it should work with that, I believe. I got this 69 Mustang mirror because mine last summer, somebody bumped into it somewhere and busted it right here. And I started pricing used ones on eBay and they were like $70 on up. The guy had this one marked for $12 and I, he took 10. I stole this thing, absolutely stole it. Um, got another, another little motorcycle carburetor for a couple of bucks. I don't know why because I'm thinking for my mud mower. I'm going to actually go ahead and try to use the uh, original carburetor and clean it up because I'm, I'm not liking the options that I'm having with these motorcycle carburetors about which direction to point them. It seems like they're always getting in the way of something. This Ford distributor guy just gave it to me because I was looking at it. Uh, Ford two barrel adapter just to have it. It was better than those cheesy ones with all the holes in them. This was a good deal. These are two like... I don't know if they're brand new or hardly used Hydro Boost units. And I was thinking about putting a uh, Saginaw, well there's no thinking about it, I had already decided I was going to, instead of using the uh, Explorer power steering pump on the 76 Bronco, I was going to uh, build a Saginaw mount for a Saginaw pump. And this will be the perfect complement to it because I was going to have to put a, uh, to put the oh man i can't talk i'm so tired to put the uh vacuum brake booster on i was gonna have to build a bracket anyway so i think i'm just gonna use one of these and then use the saginaw pump to power it but i got both of these for 20 bucks get out of here mosquito got these uh header gaskets for five got these gauge cups i forget a couple bucks for them gun sock for a buck got some people riding mini bikes here having fun it's kind of it's kind of cool in town. People are sitting out in their yard watching the people with their show cars cruising around town. It's kind of like a little party going on. But anyway, back to this. Got a uh, MSD cap for an MSD distributor that I've got. And a rotor. Uh, a pair of tires for the girlfriend's vehicle because they're going to be needing some this winter. And here's my big ticket item. Performer R gap, ah, whew, an Edelbrock Performer RPM air gap for a 351 Windsor. The guy said this only has like 20 minutes dyno time run on it. And I, this was one thing I was looking for. I just forgot I was looking for it till I stumbled across it. The last time I, I didn't buy, I, I come across one of these, what was it, last fall, and I was looking for one, and I decided to come back later, and it was gone. But uh, I got this one. So, that's pretty much my haul. I'm going to get set up here to camp out for the night. So, here's what I've come up with. I'm going to sleep in the bed of the truck. I've got this tarp ratchet strapped down to create a little barrier so uh, moisture doesn't settle on me. It's tight enough that there's a, just a little bit of a gap there. Should let in some fresh air. Obviously, if it doesn't, I'll die. 
Plus, even if I didn't die, the moisture in my breath would get in there and collect on there, which it might anyway. That might not be enough ventilation, but I can't just leave it hanging wide open because the skeeters will find me, which they probably will anyway. I won't be able to stretch out fully, but I think I'll do okay, especially considering how damn tired I am. Nighty-night.